I'm Dennis with TerraFlex. Today we're going to talk wheel and tire packages. There's a lot of things to take into consideration and we get a lot of questions on what's the right wheel and tire that I should put on my Jeep. So we wanted to just go over a few of those today because you only want to do this once. Wheels and tires are expensive. So depending on what type of tire you choose, it's going to really affect the gas mileage on your vehicle, wear and tear on parts, and most of all your wallet. Now I get it. Any certified man wants it big. We pick up that new Jeep and we have visions of 40 inch tires, a 6 inch lift. It's going to be awesome. And that works great if you happen to be a rock crawler and you want to use the Jeep strictly for off-road use. But the reality is, most of the time our wife has to take that thing 80 miles a day on the freeway to commute with it. If we've got 40 inch tires on it, that's going to affect your gas mileage and those are way too expensive to wear out on a commute. Now we're lucky enough to have Jen here with us today. She was out on work release. She set up a whole array of tires here for us so we can see the different sizes. She set up everything from a 255 on the petite little JK there, all the way up to this 40 inch bad boy right here. Now you can go more than a 40, but it just starts getting really extreme. Now the first two tires in our little tire array here are actually stock Jeep wheels and tires. Obviously the one on this Sahara is a 255. This is also a 255. Let's just look at the numbering system on this tire a little bit. On a metric tire, the first set of numbers, in this case the 255, refers to the width of the tire in millimeters. The next set of numbers is a 75. Now that 75 is just telling us how tall and narrow the tire is. So to make it easy, if it's a 60 series tire, it's going to have a lot wider tread and a lot shorter sidewall than if it's a 75 series. That'll be narrower and taller. The next thing in the list of numbers is an R. That just refers to the fact that it's a radial. And then the last two digits is a 17. That's just telling us the wheel size. Now if you're not planning on making any kind of suspension modifications or tire size changes to your Jeep, I'd like to invite you to shut the video off right now. Jen? We'll give them just a minute to get their uh, recorder shut off. Are they gone? <laughs> These JKs are really interesting vehicles. They've got just enough wheel clearance inside of the fender wheels that you can actually run up to a 33 inch tire on them without doing any modifications whatsoever. If you're going to take it off road and wheel it, you might want to make some changes because it's going to be just on the edge of rubbing. Now when I say 33s, we just changed our numbering system. When they say it's a 33, that measures the diameter of the tire. So the tire measures 33 inches to the top of the tire. The next number will be the width of the tread. In this case, the 1250 refers to the width of the tire in inches. The last number, of course, is the rim size. Now this, this range of tire size works out really well for someone who's using their Jeep more maybe to commute with, uh, just a little bit of trail runs with it. They like to go off road, but maybe not that much. Uh, it's going to have minimal effect on your gas mileage, your ride. You'll be able to, to use this tire with uh, maybe a budget boost on it, just a small lift, give you a good look, but still have some, some good street ability. Okay, next up in our row of tires is a 35. The 35s are one of the most popular tires that we put on the JKs. They require a lift to do it, but you can put a, a two and a half, a three inch lift on them, and these 35s really look good on them. It's gonna give you a little better off-road clearance on your ground clearance, but it's not gonna affect your drivability that much. They still drive and handle very nice on the road. This 35 inch tire is, is really a, a good choice. I really like the way they ride and handle. Yeah, looks like we lost Jen. Next up is the 37s. 37s are a popular tire. Hey, Jen, don't go too far. I had to sign you out. 37 refers to the overall height of the tire. And then we've got uh, 1250 wide. That refers to the width. 
and then we've got a 17 inch as the rim on it. Now when you get to a 37 inch tire, you've kind of moved up to the next level. Once you get the 37s, you're going to probably be looking at doing some gear changes to just to get the power back. If you start turning the tire that's that big around and you start feeling some power loss, it's going to affect your gas mileage. So it's going to have some, some detrimental side to it. But I'll tell you what, when you get off road, that 37 inch tire is really going to perform for you. 37s are going to require uh, a three inch. In some cases, we've done 37s on a three inch lift, but they're tight. A four inch is a lot more comfortable fit with a 37 inch tire. As you go down the line, we go up to a 38. This is my tire right here. Thirty eights. I like them because number one, you've got another inch on height, but when you go to a thirty eight, they're fourteen fifty, so they're quite a bit wider, a couple inches wider on the tread on them. These thirty eights are pretty hard to turn. You better have some horsepower behind it because uh, when you put those on, it's a real drag. Last but not least in our list is the forty. I ran a set of these as well, and the forty inch tire just is really hard to beat off road. That extra height, when you come up to a ledge, it allows you to just step up on that ledge so much easier. 40 inch tires just really turn an obstacle into a non-event. But you're gonna have some clearance issues. You're gonna need to have a, at least a six inch lift unless you do some major body modifications to make them fit in there. And you can do it, but uh, you're gonna lose some sheet metal. So the 40s are actually a 1350. So the 40s are an inch narrower than the 38s were but we still gained uh, a couple inches on height on it. Now we can go Monster Truck Extreme. There you go. We can go all the way back down to our petite little 255s. Somewhere in that range of tire is going to be the tire that's right for you. What do you think, Jen? Tires are big. Yeah, okay, well thank you very much. We'll see you next time.